Hi everyone, it's Gail. I am here with my 3 in 30 alphabet challenge for the letter V, which is for vellum. And so I've got the Tim Holtz vellum paper stash. Um, it's wallflower. And so this whole, this whole pack is vellum pieces. And so I have an idea that I want to try. Um, and then, of course, we'll make three different pieces during this video. So I had to write down the ideas I had because they were middle of the night inspirations. <laughs> so let's get started. I'm going to hit the timer. Okay, it's over on the other table, but we got her. Okay, so the first one I want to make is a tag. And so I have this piece of paper and that does not fit it. Okay. I thought it would. Okay, now I'm gonna be I'm gonna be spending a little extra time. Oh, this one fits it. Okay. So that's okay. I have I have this tag that's already pre-made and um so I guess I'll put this on it. So what I'm going to do first is just cut out this other, the other tag here, which will be the front actually of the, of the tag. I have no idea really what I'm doing, but I just wanted to try and do this. <laughs> so we'll see how it, how it works out. All right. So Okay, so I have a two and a half inch round punch here. This is an EK punch. And I am, I'm kind of thinking I'm going to go down here just because there is some writing there. Okay, so we'll see how this is going to work. Actually, I can get that fairly close to center. Is that center? I don't know if that's the center or not. I think we're going to go with it though. Okay. I'll keep these for what I don't know, but I'll keep them. Okay. It's a little off, but that's okay. If we put something here, we'll go to this side. All right. So now I want to find a piece of vellum and I think I'm going to use, perhaps use these ones that are the smaller size, you know, I think maybe, Ooh, that's pretty, isn't it? Yeah, let's use that. Okay, so I'm just going to cut this one little square out. Just go ahead and leave it in the paper pack just so it's easier to manage. The other pieces, okay. Worked out great that I had this Tim Holtz vellum and I've been working on Tim Holtz journals. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna set this aside for a quick second so that we can do this. Okay, so I just want to put this in and go like that. Okay. All right. Easy peasy. Uh, need a little something to glue on here. I, I think this is going to be pretty, pretty easy little project, I do believe. Glue, glue, burst. So we're having a lovely day today. Um, yesterday, my son <laughs> was, he was over here towards our town. He lives about an hour and 45 minutes away, but he was here towards our town because he was having, um, having a get together with his childhood friends they do that periodically at his friend's cabin well he had he ended up having car trouble 
So we could just leave this, but I'm going to snip it off just because it's just going to be covered up and I can maybe use that on something. So I'm going to put that there. I'm going to put, I'm going to glue this whole thing down. Do I want to sew it? Of course I want to sew it. So we'll just put around here. Um, yeah, so anyway, he had car trouble, thankfully, in a spot that had cell service and there was a place to pull off. So it was a little little hairy, but it all worked out okay. And um, anyway, so he called us and we got him. And um, so his truck is in the in the shop right now. And so he's staying with us, which, you know, makes this mama real happy. So, um, gosh, I've got stuff all over my desk. Okay. So did that. Now I'm wishing I would have, um, done a little distressing, but I think I can do it with my, my brush around that edge. Um, Anyway, so we spent the night last night. Apparently, they have the parts to fix this truck, so they'll probably get it done today. But secretly, I'm kind of hoping it's not done till tomorrow so we can stay another night. So, yeah. This will be fun to journal on because then I think you could, like, you could journal around the edge of the circle. I like things like that where you end up going in shapes. Okay, this has its I think I only got one. Did I only get one? I guess so. There were just two holes. That made that confused me for a second. Okay, um, so let's grab this guy and we'll just go around the edge of of this. Okay. So we can go around this one too. Okay. So now I think I would like a definition here and I have these definitions from um, a jeweled design on Etsy. And I was thinking one of those would be nice on there. Cut that down a bit. So anyway, my husband, or my husband, my son is here. And then it's also the day that the lady comes to clean my bathrooms and stuff. I don't know why I'm doing it with this, but... It works too. Um, so I had to tell her, I'm going to go down and make a video. She thinks it's so interesting that I make videos. I, I think it's interesting too. I like it. Okay, so I'm going to put that over that way in the middle. I might, might just kind of offset it a little bit. Okay, but I think I also want some... Of my cool fabric, which is here, over here, under things. I've got a lot of stuff out because I'm kind of thinking about my next project. I think I'm just going to go like that. I don't want a ton. Um, yeah, so thinking about my next project, which I think I'm going to do an altered book. Because I've had several requests. So I like to do what you want to see. So I think that's what I'm going to do um, for my next projects. Although I'm still working on the Timmy Holtz too. So there may be some days of that as well. Just whatever I'm working on. Okay. So my pal Carrie, Carrie the Crafter had a great idea. He said, well, you've got the mixed media Mondays going. How about you do a scrappy Saturday where you only just use scraps? 
I think that's a grand idea. I said to myself, he said, maybe even just every other Saturday or something. So I think that's what I might do. Okay, I'm going to just put that there. I probably should have sewed around it first, but that's okay. I can probably, probably manage. Okay, where's my little, my little pin? Where'd it go? Do you guys see it? Oh, there it is. Under things, of course. Okay. Oh boy. I better get going. I'm taking too long. I keep forgetting that I'm on the clock here. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to, do I want, do I want a tab? Maybe I do want a tab. Let's just do some of this stuff. And we'll just do a little tab too. Okay, this is great though, because then I'll have this, these three items for my Tim Holtz journals. Okay, let's go. I don't know why it helps to go yeah <laughs> when I move my sewing machine, but it does. Okay, so that's cute. Yes, you see that little vellum peeking through there? I don't know. Can't really show it to you with the light. Okay, that's done. And next up, uh, next up, I wanted to do like a um Pocket belly band is kind of what I was thinking. So I'm going to cut this big, maybe three inches or so, three and a half inches. <clears throat> no, three inches. Okay. Make up your mind, Gail. You have no time to be going back and forth on it. Okay. So then I need a a piece out of here. Now, once again, I got to just make a decision like lickety split ish. Okay, I'm just going to So this is an old paper pack. I'm assuming they still have it, but I can't say that for sure. So three inches, I'm just going to go zippity-doo-dah right down there. And then I just do this. So this is going to be eight and a half inches because... It's the height of the cardstock. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so then I want to get not my giant one, but my two incher. And I think I want to just go like that. Okay, that didn't cut very well. That's okay, I think I can salvage it. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Um, so I'm just gonna really 
do that where the hole's going to be. I'm going to do this too, just because, I don't know, it might show through. That's what I was thinking. So what I was thinking is of putting this in the middle of a page and being able to have like a journaling card underneath or something. So I don't know. I've never done this before, so we'll see. Okay, so I need to sew this. Yeah, there it is again. <laughs> okay, so one, two, three. We're gonna do a zigzag around, and I'm gonna back stitch the openings just to make them a little tougher. done really um unless I want to decorate it a little bit I'm gonna oh I take the lid off to get ink on your sponge funny thing about that ooh the vellum really inks nicely too which would make sense both Timmy products. Okay, so then my thought was, like on a page, let me just grab this journal that I'm working on off camera here and there. So my thought was to put it in like a belly band, like that, and then have a piece to go in it, which I'm wondering, those off my table. Let me, let me just see for a second. Uh, 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 okay, I know where they are. Just totally tearing things apart, uh, guys. Just totally tearing things apart. So what I was thinking is I think I'm going to cut this time card and just put that in like that. I think that is super cute. I really do. And I don't want to decorate this because I want you to be able to see through it. And if I, you know, put fabric or whatever on it, it's, I'm not going to see that. This was one of my, um, Thank you gifts from Emily at Vintage Polka Dot Shop. She, on Etsy, she gave me this little coffee dyed time card, which I have some in my stash from my own coffee dyeing, but you know, I love Emily's coffee dyeing more than anything. And I feel like, I feel like this sort of a, just even bare bones design. It looks like Tim Holtz because he has all the ledgers and things like that. Okay, so that is a pocket belly band. Now, probably other people have done that, but I have not seen that. So I thought that was a fun idea. Okay, so those two are done. Then I had one more idea, which I need my cardstock for once again and I'm thinking I want this to be four inches possibly something like that four inches I think I might go get crazy and go four and a half okay 
with my cardstock. Okay, and then I'm going to use my scoreboard and I'm going to score that in the middle. That's what I was thinking. So eight and a half, so four and a quarter, right? Yeah. Okay. So this is going to go this way, like that. Okay, now I want, I want my vellum, which I'm looking at this right here. I love this design. Can you tell? I've used it on two things now, but I do love it. Okay, so I need my cutter again. And let's cut this at four and a half. Four and a half. I kind of forget how much I enjoy vellum. Okay, and then I want to do this one four and a quarter. Because I would like that to go right over the top of this. Okay, now I'm going to stress the card. On all sides, I think, is what I'm going to do. And on the inside. I'm thinking about my next steps and thinking, I think I want to I think I've got it. I've got it in my head. Okay. So this is this is our card. I am going to do a zigzag across just across the top of my vellum. That's gonna be my first step. Okay was easy. So I've got that. And then what I want to do is go around my whole card with a zigzag once again. So, this is purely decorative stitching, That's what it is. Okay, so then what I want to do is, I think what I'm going to do is then, um, is I'm going to um, do fabric tack glue just right along here. What I want is for you to be able to flip this up and write under there and then your writing would show through the vellum. And then also it will open this way. So let's let's get this glued down. 
second glue goobler of the day. Uh, so yeah, it's after lunch and my son and my husband took Jimmy for a hike in the hills by our house. Um, my son's been working from home all day, but he does get a lunch hour. So they were able to take Jimmy. So that was cool. Fun for my husband, too. Um, just kind of see how he does up in the hills because we haven't done that much. Okay. So now you know why I sewed across the top of the vellum is because um, I wanted the sewing to be continuous. Okay, and so then my thought was in the journal that you could put this like over the top of a page like this. And then it comes off to, to journal. And you've got one, two, three, four sides to journal, right? Yeah, I kind of like that. And I think it will look cool with, so with someone's handwriting underneath here. So just some fun, interactive sort of little pieces for the journal let's see oh my gosh we've got four minutes left how about that so i've got a bunch of stuff on my desk a bunch of stuff from happy mail on my desk oh sounds like they're home from the hike i'm pretty sure or that's or that's our cleaning lady one or the other Anyway, I've got a bunch of stuff on my desk, and I, I want to do a video uh, on my desk video, which might be the next one, but I was thinking about putting a little ticket there. Oh, yeah, that's Jimmy. <laughs> the pitter-patter of doggy feet. I would like a little fabric. Oh, okay. Just like a little strip of fabric is what I want. And just kind of put that right there and that right there. And then I might put, um, I might put a butterfly on it just to go with the butterflies of the vellum. Like that. Put this on. And I'll see if I, I if I have like a black butterfly. Just going to kind of angle that a little bit. Okay, and then the black butterfly. I thought I had, I thought I had some black and white ones. It's a bit big. This one. Time for my husband's nap. So hopefully my son won't have to be on the phone with his work much. <laughs> Put that right there. Um, and just, just glue the middle. And then I think I'll put, I've got this bling that I got from Antonio 
and happy mail. And I think I'll just put that on. See what happens when we have extra time. We get a little crazy on the decorating. Okay, I like that. I like that better. Makes me wonder if I want to put something on this one, like midway here. Ooh, how about, hold on. Well, I have 23 seconds. So I'm going to say these are done, but I may end up decorating this a bit more. How's that? And we'll keep going because, you know, I can't be, can't be not giving you your hour. Okay. Four, three, two, one. All right, we did it. We did it. So these are our three. I do think I'm gonna glue something on there, which I might have had time to do. Um, I made I made these on my Patreon channel the other day, and I was thinking one of those would look nice on there. Maybe that one. Is this one a little shorter? Yeah, that one's better because you can see that whole flower. That's what I'm going to do. I'll put, put that on there. So we'll work some more with vellum. We'll make some more stuff. These were my three ideas I had, but maybe we could come up with something else. Or we can make, make more of these or something. I might make another pocket, I'm thinking, because... After, I don't need any more pockets for the book I'm working on, but for the two after that, I, do, I could use. So I'm just going to put that right down there. Oh, very happy with these three pieces. I'm very happy. Like them. Okay, cool. So let's make a little pocket, another little pocket like this. That was super easy to do, so... Um, I don't know where to put these. <laughs> I'll put them right there. Okay, so what do I have left of this that I could use? And how big is this? I made that other one three inches, didn't I? I think it was three inches. This is slightly over, so. Yeah, let's just make one more. Ooh, and this is very pretty, okay. Maybe we'll do, I think I'm going to cut this off at eight and a half. So these, um, these are the size that have four designs on a page and they, they cut really nicely in terms of, you know, the, the patterns still look really good. Okay. 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 To another one of these. Where's my punch? Okay, come on, little punch. Punch well, please. Nope. Nope. Didn't do it. Okay. Well. Oh, you know what I should have done that would have worked is put a piece of um, paper or cardstock behind. That's what usually works on things like this that don't want it. Isn't that going to be pretty? Oh, I might just put a label up there is all I would do on that one, I think. Yeah, so I'm sure my son's back to work. My hubby is taking his nap. The gal is cleaning my bathrooms. <laughs> and she's now doing the floors too because Jimmy Joe makes such a mess. Oh my gosh. But I mean, I have to do them in between. She only comes er every other week. And uh, so... But you know, you guys, it works out great because 
I would rather be making journals than um, than cleaning. <laughs> and this way, she's cleaning. I'm making journals, and then. Um, And then I just pay her with some of the money I make from selling my journals. Then everyone's happy. She has a job. I can make my journals. Just a win-win for everybody. That's what it is. Okay. Now, I just had another idea of something to do, too. So, <laughs> I'm on a roll now. On a roll now. Oh, it's just it's just getting those first three done that, you know, are like, got to get her done before the 30 minutes is up. So... After this, so this was V, W, X, Y, Z. Only four more videos in this challenge. It's been really fun, I have to say. I don't know if I could do the 100 day challenge because I have so many different things I wanna do and I just don't, I don't know. I don't know if I could do it. I mean, I do a video every day anyway, but now isn't that pretty? Okay, so I got my um i got my excuse me my uh ephemera books organized a bit but did i knock you off camera just about um and so now i have to remember where things are so i put i have my tracy fox labels in another book but i put the nature ones and the postal ones in here because it already said love junk journals. <laughs> so I needed to just do that. Okay, so do I want green? Let me get my tweezers. Oh, they're out already. I have so much stuff out on my on my desk. That's why I wanted to do a desk craft with me. botany. I love it. That's just great. Just like that. So did I tell you I ordered another rolly cart? Because I'm, I'm running out of room. <laughs> just all these wonderful things to work with. And but if I don't have them right with me, I forget about them. You know, like it's been forever since I worked on anything with vellum and I, it's very fun. I, I enjoy it, but I just haven't remembered it. Okay. I think that is great. Just as is. Got a little, little sticky outy piece there. I just want to pull that off. If I can get a hold of it. Oh, there we go. Okay, so that's distressed looking tin holes. Yeah, so again, I'm just going to do another another um, time card. Okay, I see my... Yeah, I think I'm just going to do that. Pop that in, and it's another pocket belly band for the other journals. So I'll have one for each now. Yeah, the alphabet challenge, I feel like I've done a lot of things for my Tim Holtz journals, so it's been kind of great that way too. Just get them done and whatever I'm doing, just do it with Tim Holtz supplies, and it works pretty well. <laughs> Right. So 
So there is that. That's one. Oh, I think those are really fun. All right. Here's my thought. I have this envelope. I was wondering if I could use some of my little scraps, my little Tim Holtz scraps on it. And if I could put vellum in the pocket. Okay. So I am going to have that be something that opens. I am going to cut it down because, yeah, it's way more than eight and a half. So I'm going to cut the non-windowed side to just a little under eight and a half. I'm going to flip that over so I have a good, just a little bit under eight and a half. About right there. Now what I was wondering is could I, can I pull this off and replace it with the vellum? That's my thought. Okay, well, that's not coming off. That's just the edge of it. They have them really stuck in there. Okay, so. I really want to put the bell in there. I guess I could cut it out. This is just a junk mail envelope. I try to nicely, as nicely as possible, <laughs> um, open up. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. Um, open up my window envelopes that come in the mail because I know I can lose them. <laughs> oh. Okay. All right. So, took that off. Let's see, what do we have left here? We have, I think this might be nice. Okay, I'm just gonna clip that about right there. Actually, I think I can just cut this without the cutter. And then okay. We're just going to replace that little acetate window with vellum because we are not on A. <laughs> we are on V. Okay, and then I'm just gonna plop that down like so. Okay, so we got our vellum in the window. Now, let me grab all of my scraps over here. So many scraps. Okay. So many scraps. And we're just going to collage this. I've got some good little strips here. Ooh, I think I like that. Okay. Put that there. 
Um, three smaller strips. This is a little bit smaller. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to have to cut them down. That's just going to have to be how it goes. I think I'll... It's not long enough. Let's just cut that off. What I'm thinking is if I just glue them down, I can just cut along the side of the envelope, you know? Know what I'm saying? Okay, what? because then that will be cut off. No, not all of it will. <laughs> Just arguing with myself. Don't mind me. Okay, I think I'll put that on. Yeah, I'm totally shooting from the hip here, so. Because I usually, you know, when I'm collaging something like this, I'm usually um, tearing the paper and stuff. I'm not used to cutting. <laughs> um, does that look better? Probably looks better underneath, I'm thinking. Okay. This thing might end up so thick that I don't want to use it, but I don't know. Just wanted to try. Mostly I wanted the vellum in the window. <laughs> it was mostly what I was going for. Okay, now this one. So last night we watched a scary movie on TV because that's what my my son likes to do when he comes here because we'll watch scary movies with him and his wife doesn't care to. <laughs> so it's a good thing. I just figure he can get it out of his system when he's here. So we watched It to Chapter 2. Oh, scary clown. Scary, scary clown. Um, kind of like that. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to chop it because I can, I can cut off the excess. So I think right about there. Yeah, this is a little different collaging, isn't it? Okay. There. Oop. Okay, and I thought I had, yeah, I had this little strip that I could put there. Do 
I have an itty bitty itty bitty strip. I, oh, yeah. Okay, I'll put that there. Like so. And I'll put this one on. This is kind of a nice way to use up these little scraps that I had left from this project. So this should be Scrappy Saturday too, along with the alphabet challenge. Oh, okay. So now I'm gonna cut these off, hopefully. I'm gonna do my best not to cut the envelope because this is the part that folds. Okay. I'm going to throw those because they're gluey and yucky. Okay, this I'm going to use my cutter so that I can kind of cut it straight. Just a tiny bit like that. Oops. I was thinking of putting a pocket here. Maybe I want to, I could, I could put like a clear vellum pocket right there, couldn't I? Um, I don't think I have any handy but of the clear. It's over across the room, so I won't worry about that at this moment. But I just want to see what this is going to kind of look like when it comes together. Okay, let's do some of this. Gosh, I was so surprised something happened to my son's truck because it's fairly new. So that's a little, little bit annoying as well. But hopefully it's under warranty too. That's the good part of that. Okay. Okay, I'm liking how this is coming together. The other thing I want to do is cover this. And what I think I'm going to use is my, um, this is one of my coffee dyed brown digitals. So, I want to clip that straight. Actually, I might just cut off the borders with this. It's not going to be quite big enough because, but I can put a strip at the bottom of something, coffee dyed or something. But then I'm going to have to, as I think about this, I'm going to need to leave the, I'll just need to collage this anyway because I'm going to have to go around the window. But I do think... 
like to have just that in the background because that kind of shows through. That's cool. Okay. So let's just put a pencil somewhere. I do. Let's just, I'm going to go a little over on this because I can cut this off after we're to even it up some from the raggedy tearing open of the envelope that I did. Okay. I think I'll do that. That'll be good. I can lose, use my glue stick on this. How are we doing time-wise, guys? Uh-oh. Uh we're, we're almost out of time. Almost out of time. I'll do a little bit more, but then um, I'll definitely show you this piece next time as I get it all done. I'm thinking I might like to sew around it too. So that's, it's all good. But we got our, th we got our three pieces done that we needed to today. So that's exciting. All right. So let's put that straight up to the top and over from the, over from the crease a bit. Okay, that's just fine. So then I think I might do one on the bottom here. I don't mind if the crease is that, um, whatever you call it, the security design. That's just fine. Okay. Yeah, so I'll either finish this on the next video or... Um, okay, I'm going to put that up there. Because then I might go, yeah, I think I will put that up there. Is, or is this the one? Nope. Okay. Um, and then I'll put some little strips on the bottom. That will be fine. It's just mostly to be able to, to write on the inside of this. And then I'll put more of these pages on this side. And But this is just, it's just how I wanted it. So I'm really pleased with that and how this little bit of coffee dyeing kind of shows through. I don't know that it shows up on camera, but... So yeah, we got a couple pocket belly bands done. We got a... Um, a tag with a, a window tag, I guess they call them, and a little flip over journal card that you can you can journal underneath. So I'm very happy with vellum. It's very, very fun. So thank you everyone so much for watching. I hope you have a grateful day and we'll just see you in the next video. Bye.